So how does the owner of a South Florida restaurant not know that he was ordered shut for a roach issue? Last week, state inspectors ordered two kitchens shut. Local 10 investigator Jeff Wines here has tonight's Dirty Dining Report. Hi, how are you? You can duck, you can hide, but you can't escape the results of a recent inspection. We are at Snappers. It's on Sunrise Boulevard. It's just west of I-95 in Fort Lauderdale. Last week, 17 violations were found here. The place ordered shut. We wanted to talk to somebody about the inspection. We wanted to talk to somebody about the inspection. No, can't. There's no manager here? The woman in the yellow says she's not the manager, but she is. So I wanted to talk to you about the inspection. No. Okay, thank you. Among the violations here, flies and roaches, quote, too numerous to count above and behind a sink at a back storage area. There was mold in the ice machine. There were cross-contamination issues. Raw oysters were being stored over cut lemon and cooked rice. They were operating without a state license. But there's no explanation as to why here at Snappers. Can I talk to somebody about the inspection? We moved to Hallandale Beach, the address here, 622 Northeast 8th Street. Last week, after the initial shutdown, an inspector had to come back several times before Taqueria El Tarasco was finally allowed to reopen. That's because each time a roach issue still existed. Cucarachas? Ah, no, ya, no. Yeah, see, sí. cucaracha. Sí, pero ya viene el inspector, ya punigamos, ya todo. The inspector came, they fumigated, it's done. She gets the owner of this place on the phone who seems clueless, which may be the problem in the first place. I wanted to talk to somebody about the roach issue last week. Oh, uh, no, we don't have any information at all. I don't know, but uh, let me talk to uh, one of my guys. You don't know. According to the inspection, roaches were found in a storage area adjacent to the kitchen. During the reinspections, more roaches crawling next to the grill of the cook line on top of a counter in the dining area and under a sink. According to state records, no establishments were ordered shut last week in Miami-Dade and Monroe counties. All the places just mentioned were allowed to reopen following an ordered cleanup and then a reinspection. Jeff Weinseer, Local 10 News. To see the list of restaurants ordered shut and their violations, simply scan the QR code on your screen with your phone. It'll take you to the Dirty Dining section on our website, local10.com.